Hey, welcome everyone to a new game of Catan. So let's have a look at the board. Okay, we are third position. I do see some high producing spots. So 8, 5, 10, I think is the obvious first choice. And secondly, it's a little bit more difficult, but I like the 6 for 9 with the 3 for 1 board. I like the 6, 5, 9 over here. I also like the 5, 9, 10. 3, 8, 10, also very good, I think. I'm not sure if someone will take the 8, 4. I doubt it. So, yeah, let's see what will be open here. 5, 9, 10, great spot. So, two times the 3 for 8. It's unlikely that both will be taken. So, I think I want to not place on both 3 for 8s or 3, 8, 10s. So I would either go with the 5, 9, 10 of the 6, 5, 9, I think. If that will be, yeah, one of these will be open. But if you don't, if you don't take the 6 for 9, then this might also be a very good option for me. I could combine with the 6, 3, 11, for example. But that's less strong, of course. So yeah, I think I like the ore here, the 6, 5, 9. And I do think the 9, 10 will be open as well. So if we do get that spot, we are in an amazing position. So let's see. I think you should take the 659. Ooh, okay, very nice. Yeah, so I can't go wrong with the 659 here. Uh, there are three sheep wheat spots. And if we get the brick as well, that would be amazing. But if I just get the 3 for 8 over here, that's still very good. Or even the 649 is also very good in terms of production. So yeah, we go for the 659 here, I'm pretty sure. So we do have a lot of wood income. There is of course a possibility that someone will take the 910, but even if they do, then I will have another good spot I can build to. So I'm not that worried. And of course, if I do get it, it is very good for me. Yeah, so I think as fourth position, it's a little bit difficult. I think 6 for 9, 3, 8, 10 is a solid setup with the sheep board and the 3 for 1 board. So if you do that, I will get the 3 for 8. Yellow will get the 6 3, 11 here probably, or the 3 for 11. I'm not sure what he wants to do. And green will end up with... Maybe the 4, 5, 11 here. This, that will be open, I think. Maybe the 6, 11, 12 will be open for green. So that will be a great spot for him. He can build to the 9 ore or to the 3, 1. Yeah, so interested to see what purple decides to do here. I think he is going for what I said here. I would have done that too. So we get the three for eight and starting off with 23 points of production. That's insane. So I could go to the six three. That's better for my orange sheep game, but I think it's better because we do have a lot of wood production to go to the three for one as soon as possible. So overall, I think we have one of the best setups. Maybe with pink. Pink has a very high production numbers as well, but is not on the ore. So that's the downside of the position of pink Ooh, you do take the 8-4 wow I'm not that very happy about that because now you give green the 6-3-11 here and he can either get to the 6-11-12 or to the 4-5-11 or even to the 3-4-11 so you will give green a lot of space interesting to note that there's not that many sheep on the board so pink could have a trade advantage here so i think green is by far in the best position i don't like the position of yellow too much here and pink now that the sh that the sheep board is blocked is definitely very bad oh you decide just to uh, let the 4 5 11 be open here yeah, so I think you are going to steal from me here. But then you have to solo block me. Yeah, you do solo block me right away.
Okay, so no one is deaf. I think interest in the wheat except green. So yeah, let's see if green wants to do this trade with me. Okay, so a lot of wheat on the board. And green does have the wheat now as well. So he does, he does have two wood, two brick and a wheat. He needs the sheep basically. Oh, and he did get my sheep. He can already road settle, that's big. Oh, maybe you are trying to cut me off here to the 910. I could see that as well. Yep, that's what you're going to do. Okay, so you have a sheep and a wheat in your hand. If I steal the sheep, that could be big too. But that I lo lost my sheep is actually pretty big now, because now it could be hard to get the sheep here. So there is one brick in the game. Yeah, I will definitely do it for the brick, but I doubt that you want to give away your brick here. So I'm thinking about already placing my row to the 8, but green could definitely outpace me given his resource gain. But I also don't want to... Yeah, a little bit tough. Maybe I should just go to this 3-1. I think it's a little bit more safe. And I don't want to get cut off by green, which is definitely a possibility. And I don't want to 7 out. So... Hmm... Well, let's first see if we can get a wheat for sheep here with pink. Okay. Um, yeah, then we just 4 for 1 and go to the 3 for 1 here. I also don't want to risk that my brick will get stolen here. So until now, we are blocked the whole game basically. Okay, so now he doesn't have the sheep either. So he does have the 9-10 now, which is a great expatch spot, but it might be hard for him to settle there in a short period of time. Okay, so pink does have the sheep. There's no brick in the game. Nice, we do get the first nine of the game when it was unblocked, so that's really nice. Yeah, I think we, we hold here, definitely. So if you enjoy this content, it would really help me if you want to consider hitting that like button and the subscribe button, if you didn't already to give you even more valuable Catan content, hopefully. Yeah, I think you were interested in my wheat here, in my ore, I mean. And another nine, okay.
Yeah, no one has brick. So a little bit of a slow start for everyone because nobody does have the brick or the ore. So that means you can do anything without four for one. -ing. So pink does have a lot of sheep and wheat. Yeah, yellow, a lot of wheat. And green does have the wood here. So nothing interesting for me, except the sheep, of course. But we are on the three sheep. So by the time we are getting the brick, we might have the sheep already. Yeah, so we hold here in the hope to get the city soon. Yeah, because of your production, I think you can already four for one. Yeah, so that's what is very good about getting that production going and being unblocked because pink. Yeah, the eight is not getting blocked at all this game. Okay, green is, uh, is solo blocking everyone. It's also very interesting to note because you could just block the eight wheat here, I guess. But at least we are not the target anymore now. So should I do it for two wood here? Then I will have the city. But maybe you don't have the two wood. Okay, let's offer a wheat. Maybe we can... I don't think you will ever want to give your brick. I think he's aware that I might get the city out of it. Okay, Machado doesn't want to give it to me. Um, I think I'm willing to do this trade with yellow or for brick. Um, wow, okay, that's really tough. Let's see if yellow wants to do this instead. Okay, no trades, unfortunately, and I can't do anything with these cards. So now it's really bad that my sheep got stolen so early because now I can't get the diff card here. But worst case is we lose all our wood, so it doesn't. It's not that bad. So this already shows how important the port is, especially if you have high production and a very unbalanced resource game. Yeah, so green is looking for wheat here. Yeah, because you need wheat here. Yeah, that was expected here. So you do have the brick. You don't have the sheep. Yeah, you have wood, brick and wheat basically. I think, wow, yeah, okay, really recognizing that I needed the ore there. Let's see if pink wants to do this. I'm not willing to give my ore away here. So 
So now yellow also does have the port. Yeah, and now pink looks pretty strong because this is still open. Mm. I think that will give the saddle to green here. No, he needs brick as well. So he basically has wood in his hand, yeah. So he actually needs sheep and brick and wheat. So he only does have wood in his hand, basically. Nice, we do get the sheep here. So now green does have two brick here. So I will, I'm definitely willing to do this trade with green here. I know he needs the wheat and he has what, two brick. Yeah, so we do get that trade here. We get the settlement. Um, yeah, so I will just hold here. Nice, so we do get the brick here. Now we have some more flexibility. So next goal I think is either to go for the city if possible and otherwise going for the development card. But I prefer the city here because we now have the tree one port. Pink is also really scary with the production. And we only need one eight and one six and then we already have the city here. But let's see if green decides to steal from me here. Because he knows I have the ore. Okay, nice. So everyone now did get the settlement, which is great, I think. And let's see who can now sit here. Wow, and the first 10 of the game, and then he, double, he doubled up right before on the 10. Mm. Yeah, I will just hold here. Yeah, I think pink was definitely looking for the ore there, so very nice. Because I did have two ore as well, but that was a long time ago already. Yeah, so we just need the wheat for wood trade or just the wood in order to city up. And I still want to city up the 659. It's so much production. And if the nine isn't blocked, I will get two ore because I produce a lot more wheat. And I think I'm not the target now, but let's see. Oh no, and you do get my ore. Oh, that's so bad. I would not have the city anyway, but still, that's very bad for me. So let's see if green wants to weed for wood trade here. Then I can get the death card, I think. That might be better now. So even though I have the tree for one port, I still can do much. It's pretty annoying here. I could tree for my wheat for the ore, but that I don't think is the best option. I could also tree for my wheat for the sheep and just go for the death card. That's an option. I could also hold here. Um, yeah, I, I think I want to hold here. I need to get my production going here. So we are still one wood away from the city. So hopefully we can get some luck here. Okay. So I think, yeah, it was definitely the right decision there to hold and going for the city. Yeah. 
So normally I will not get any ore, so I will just three for one. So now you see the three for one really helps here. And should we just city up? Getting the first city of the game, really nice, on the 659. And now we are definitely going for some death cards because the nine will be a huge robber target here. I think I am the only one that didn't roll any sevens. So three sevens, zero. Three sevens. Wow, I'm the only one that didn't roll single seven and the other players all rolled three sevens. So I think Pink is just also going for army here. He does have the best ore, but well, the best sheep in wheat production and a lot of production, of course. So yeah, Pink would easily win with road and with army. And I don't see the win condition of gray. Um, green also will have a tough time. Yeah, and so do I, I think Pink is in prime position. The only upside for me is, of course, I already have the city. Okay, now he recognized that I'm that he's a bigger threat. Okay, just settlement here. So let's see if Pink does have the knight actually. Yeah, nothing we can do here. So we pass. It is a knight, so that's actually really bad. Because you can now get another one fairly quickly and you're also not contested for road yeah i think both green and yellow messed up quite a bit they did let open so many open spots on the board especially uh gray here or yellow Well, but look at these dice statistic, by the way. 12 fours, I don't think I've seen that before. That's absolutely insane. I was just thinking we just, we need some more nines and there's the nine. So if we roll another nine, I could maybe get the an ore for the wood and wheat trade and then i can city up again i think that's stronger now i don't think i can outpace pink now so i will just go for cities here oh wow Oh man, pink is just uh, great. I'm not sure what yellow is doing here. Okay, I get it if you also block uh, pink and steal from me or if it's on you but playing aggressive knight just to get my ore and by the way now green did get the city too which is pretty big okay going for army here okay we do have the second city I think I want to do that here 
just getting some production going. So I definitely think I'm ahead of ahead of green and also of yellow. But if yellow gets army, I could be third place, which I definitely don't want. But yellow still needs to get the cities going. But if he does have the mono, for example, that could be bad because he's right before me. Wow, we get a lot of sheep here. He could mono that as well. He's on the sheep board. Oh wow, what is green doing here? You just poured it in all your brick. I'm not sure if that is optimal here. Especially given your high wood production. Okay, let's see if someone wants a sheep. If I can get a wheat, for example, that would be really good. I think pink definitely needs sheep. Okay, so he doesn't want to do it. So then I have to, yeah, a little bit expensive here, but we still have two sheep. So otherwise it would be stuck in our hand anyway. Oh, that's a big 11 for pink. He can now get another death card, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But that also means I will be ahead of uh, yellow here. Um. I think green could be interested in this trade. He doesn't produce any sheep here. Just trying another game. Okay, that doesn't work. Um, maybe I want to do this. Okay. So pink doesn't have the knight here, interesting to note. But also that yellow blocked the nine or again was really bad because pink is obviously in the lead here. And 
And he could be on six points. So I definitely need to get another victory point or city, something like that. So I can get the road settlement here. I could also maybe go for two death cards, but yeah, then again, I need to challenge pink here. And you could have the mono here as well. No monos are played. Wow, just the rope building? That's definitely interesting. So that could be a threat for pink. Wow, so I'm really glad that yellow decides to do that here. Ooh. So can I get a brick here? Um, I can give him a wood for... Because he needs wood, right? Let's see. Yeah, I will do that. I will help yellow here. So, what do I want to do here? This is a tough decision here. I could go for the road settle, but it only brings me on six. And I think I need army or road to win. So, I will go for the two death cards here. Um... Uh, should I do this? This is better, I think. Nice. You get a victory point. And a knight to protect us. And also to prevent pink from... Uh... Is it already over? Yeah, it probably is. Okay, so yeah, we still managed to get second here. Um, yeah, I think I did everything right here. I think I didn't make any mistakes this game. I also warned the other place that pink is in the best position. But I think the initial placement just defined this game. So especially yellow, if yellow just placed on the 4 5 11, for example, and green would place on the 6 3 11, then the position of pink would be so much worse, in my opinion. So he would get the sheep board, of course, but he would not have this big expansion spot and also the space to win with road with only the tree brick here. So, yeah, nothing I could do about this. But let me know down in the comments if you would see some improvements from me because I'm not sure. So hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.